Vax season ends July 15th, but with COVID-19 restrictions and concerns, what to do? Hi, I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. This is Springboro here and there. We are here at the City of Springboro Tax Office, along with Joni Kingsey, who is our Assistant Finance Director. And hi, Joni. Hi, nice to be here. Yeah, and really there is no worry because Springboro is really taking care of all your questions. There are lots of ways that you can file taxes, right? We have come up with multiple options for people during this kind of crazy time, yeah. uh, multiple ways to file tax returns. Um, well, let's so, kind of walk people yeah. through it. So let's say I really don't want to leave my house. I don't have to in terms of filing my taxes. You absolutely don't have to leave the house um, to file your tax return. And the big departure um, that we've made is we are allowing people now to just send us their tax forms and we will do all the work for them. Easy as that. <laughs> yes. Well, so let's talk about what the tax forms are yes. and how they need to send it to us. Yes. So um, at the bare minimum, if you want to stay home and have us take care of your return for you, you need to get us your forms, which would include your W-2s, the first page of your federal form 1040, and your federal schedule one if you happen to file one. If you get us those three documents, we'll usually be able to file the return without any further information from you. So how do you get us those documents? Yeah. Now there's three ways to do that too because everyone likes to do it differently. So you can mail us those documents, you can put them in our physical drop boxes at the city building. There's one right by the library and there's one in the vestibule area of the municipal building. Um, the other option, which a lot of people are using now, is our electronic drop box. So you can go on our website and you'll find an electronic Dropbox where you can upload PDF files of your documents or JPEG files, and then we'll be able to get your documents from there. Uh, the one thing we do ask, though, is that when you are giving us your documents, if you can give us your contact information, that's helpful uh, in case we have questions and want to follow up with you. So um, if you can make sure when you're giving us your documents, there's just at least a little note that says, please file my return, and here's how you can get a hold of me if you have questions. A really neat thing that we're doing, though, is you can make a phone appointment or you can make a Zoom appointment. So still, I'm in the comfort of my own home, but I'm getting all the questions I have answered. Right. So in the first case, when we talked about sending in your documents, um, at a very minimum, what you're going to get back when you send those documents to us is a letter from us that um, says, Dear Jane, we've prepared your return. Here are the results. Here's what you need to do next. Okay. And so it's your job then just to review the return, sign it, and send it back. But if you want more personal service, we provide that. And that's what you're talking yeah. about here. So um, when you um, give us your documents, you can at the same time schedule either a Zoom appointment with us or a telephone tax appointment. And so what that means is you'll have an opportunity to talk with staff who have prepared your return and ask questions, they'll review the return with you. Um, the Zoom appointments are especially nice for this because you know, you're in a virtual yeah, kind of show and tell meeting. kind of thing. Yeah. Is this the form I need? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. And so it's a nice way to share information. I have to say, doing these Zoom meetings, I really liked it because it's a great chance to talk to taxpayers. Uh, even though they're not physically there, we can connect and um, it's a more personal way to get attention when you want to file your tax return, but again, you don't want to leave home. So and you can set up an appointment very easily just via the website. Right. So if you go to our website, you'll see links to either schedule a Zoom appointment or schedule a telephone tax appointment. So that's a little bit more low tech, but I just called a taxpayer today. We went through the results over the phone, and it was nice just to be able to establish a connection with her over voice by phone. So yeah, very easy to do from the website. And I think we're even going to have like a video with instructions yes. that show you how to make the appointment. Step by step, we'll walk yeah. you right through. Absolutely. Now let's say I feel more comfortable still coming in, even though we have some COVID-19 restrictions, I can still do that as well. Yeah, so um, what I've learned is that a lot of people really like this option. Yeah. People have been waiting for us to open the department so they can come in and have their tax return prepared um, personally. And that's fine, but because the tax department uh, lobby is fairly restricted in terms of how much space, we need to get a little bit of control over how many people come to the department. So we are requiring residents for the first time to schedule an appointment. You may not walk in. We just don't want to have a situation where we don't have proper physical distancing uh, in order to maintain the safety of staff and residents. So it is very easy to schedule an appointment. You can go online again, schedule an in-person appointment, and they run every half hour. We're scheduling them from now through July 15th to deadline. Uh, I will say that I would encourage people to schedule one as soon as possible yeah. 
because time's ticking. This is not the year to be late. You've already gotten an extension, right? Right. Going to July. Absolutely. Time, so. so, well, originally Springboro uh, put an extension until yeah. April 30th, and now we're at July 15th. So there's a bunch of procrastinators out there, though. <laughs> I can tell you that because we are still missing a few people's returns. So okay. uh, please do schedule an appointment uh, when you come. Um, I'd encourage you to make sure, again, you have those documents I talked about earlier. I don't want to send you away back home to get documents, and that happens a lot. So make sure you have your W-2s and your federal schedule with you so that we can get the whole thing done in one fell swoop here. The website is the best place to start, and there's also a list of frequently asked questions that I really think does answer most questions that residents may have about the tax filing process this year, which is so different. Um, but the other thing I'll tell you is that we've learned a little bit from this. You know, we've, we've had to adapt, and there's some things like the Zoom meetings and the telephone tax appointments I think we're going to do next year as well because it's just a different way oh, of reaching great. out and giving opportunities for people to get returns done differently. So that's been a nice feature. So you can make a Zoom appointment, you can make an in-person appointment, or you can make a phone call appointment. Exactly. Lots of great customer service options. Yep. And then, of course, we still have the phone. So if you have questions, you can call... Yes. tax office as well. You can call us 937-748-9701 uh, and someone's in the office from 8 till 4.30 and we'll generally get back to you that same business day. And this is really a new concept so this, this city is one of the first in the areas to, to offer these so we're very excited yeah. that our customer service keeps broadening for all of our taxpayers. Yep, it's been awesome. Yeah, just to find different ways to, yeah. to meet people's needs. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Joni. And again, go to the website, which is ci.springboro.oh.us, or you can always give the city a call or call the tax office. Again, 937-748-9701. All right. Again, July 15th. Get your appointment now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.